So I don't know, maybe when Neptune goes direct, you might see things with more clarity. Maybe all of us will. But actually, I am thinking that this may have something to do with that full moon, perhaps, that, you know, something becomes apparent to you. Maybe something that you have been in the dark about. And that full moon brings it to light. And, and that that is why this is really the, the higher message and the ultimate symbolism of the first half of November for Scorpios. At least some of you, maybe not 100%. And what crosses you is the King of Wands. So this is kind of like a, a reversed interpretation. Um, this could be, since it's a king, it could be somebody in your life who is a fire sign or has those tendencies, maybe it's their rising sign or the moon sign, so it makes them very fiery, um, aggressive, domineering, because in the reverse position, the king of wands is a bully. So do you have any bullies in your life? Are you going to realize, realize that the person you're with is a bully and that they have been bullying you? And maybe you blamed yourself. Maybe you thought it was all you that was creating the situation. And maybe you realize now it wasn't you, but by the same token, you were allowing it. So on, in one respect, it is you. Because, you know, people can't do to you what you don't allow them to do, right? I mean, at the end of the day, that's true. And so that may be something that you decide that you're not going to tolerate anymore. Um, the king of wands in reverse is somebody that is like a petty tyrant, which is a term I got from the late Dr. Wayne Dyer to describe people that don't feel powerless in their own lives. So they try to, you know, utilize whatever means necessary to kind of gain power over other people instead of trying to gain it over themselves, trying to control their tempers or trying to control or trying to channel their energy into something positive, they, you know, that, and that, that is kind of an extension of what I just said about being a bully. They bully people, but like the king might be in a position of authority. Oftentimes they are. So they, you know, the king can be a father. Maybe you have a, a father who's always been a bully. And now you realize this has kind of set up this, um, dynamic in your life where um, let's say you're a woman and you were raised by a very authoritarian father and you secretly resent men and so maybe you you try to kind of like do what your father did to men because you're trying to get back at him in some way and that's just one example but this this could be a boss who oversteps his authority and he makes his workers' lives miserable, so you may be dealing with that. Um, as a matter of fact, this could all be, you know, you notice that these are all in the same column. It could be that you're starting your own business to get away from this sort of person. And you gain clarity over the situation because you realize how detrimental this person's attitude is to your life. The advice is the Three of Pentacles, so if you have started something, keep going. You're on the right track to prosperity with this, you know, success and just joy. You know, the, th the number three can indicate um, a sort of uh, lively, you know, enthusiastic and happy energy. But it's Pentacles, so there's like some financial gain to be had. And... It can point to success if you're trying to accomplish something. Um, but, you you know, when we are in that mode of the first stage, we may not see what is really happening. So we may be tempted to quit. And they're saying, oh, no, you don't you dare. You know, this is the architect card. So it's a card of building on, you know, 
your your work you know but you're a work in progress and so you just have to keep plugging away the outcome is the two of cups this is a very romantic card it can indicate commitment to a partner so again with that full moon for some people there could be endings but for other people it could be a deepening of a relationship this can also be about forgiveness of some kind of um, somebody did something did you wrong you may release some of that maybe it is a father or some kind of a person who was a bully maybe you can release that so that it doesn't control you it also it also can indicate um, reuniting with a former partner maybe you um, that's what I was talking about with the um, with Venus going into the third house it could be like you're you know somehow coming in contact with somebody from your past maybe an old lover and somehow they get in touch with you you get in touch with them on Facebook or what have you and you're going back into that situation so you know the other thing too I want to say with the third house it can just be any kind of message so it could be a phone call could be you know a, a snail mail letter of somebody from your past oh yeah you know I was wrong let's get back together and you get back together with that person but it but you know like in a business sense it could be that you're joining forces with somebody you're um, you know and and that would be it, because it's a two of cups it can indicate that sense of um, having a deep affinity for that other person so if it's a business partner it's not just any business partner it's a real um, soul connection and in relationships it can also indicate choice if it's a two so there could be two parties involved that you're choosing from or somebody's choosing over you but I feel that in this particular case the choice will be made based upon the emotional connection not on financial gain or um, you know sexual chemistry but just on the soul level like this is my soulmate so I'm going to choose this person over that person so anyway Scorpio that's a pretty um, jam-packed two weeks so I hope you enjoyed this um, reading if you would like a personal reading I have a link below this video in the description box. Otherwise, have a great first half of November. Bye.